I mentioned in the last lesson that OneNote has its own recycle bin. So if you were to delete something right here, it does not go into the Windows recycle bin, but it goes into the OneNote recycle bin, which is accessible in history. Uh, note that everything in the recycle bin clears up after a month or so. So if you want to retrieve anything, you have to do it before that. So you go to the history right here, go to the notebook section, and here you can see deleted pages. So we haven't really used pages right now, so there's nothing over here. That's the chapter one, two, and new section, which we deleted in the last session. So you want to drag them back. So just click on the drop down menu. I want to keep it on notebook two. So I'm just going to pin it out so it uh, actually shows up in the left side, left handle bar right here. So I want the chapter one back. So I'm going to click and drag this just like that. And you can see that now chapter one is back. So I want to bring in the chapter two as well. So notebook, drag in the chapter two. And then if I were to go into notebook two, you can see that the chapter two is there as well. So everything that you delete actually stays over here. And if you want to clear the recycle bin and you're completely sure about it, you can simply go to the drop down and empty the recycle bin just like that. And you can also choose disable history for this notebook, which prevents anything from going into recycle bin. But I suggest not to uh, do that because then if you delete something, it's gone forever. So that is how you can use Recycle Bin inside of Microsoft OneNote. Hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.